our studio in Georgetown. Kiteshire Radio, 99.1 FM. Welcome to your morning newscast right here on Kaicho Radio 99.1, 99.5 FM in our headlines this morning. 100 countries want declaration of recount results. APNU AFC accuses international community of partisanship. And four days after the Court of Appeal decision, CCJ goes on two months vacation and the Troy resources responsible for death of geologist. Get the details of these and others when the news returns. Welcome back to your news right here on Kaicho Radio with your Monday, July 27th morning newscast. I am Josh Van Slekman. A pleasant good morning to you and thank you for joining us. 100 countries are now represented in calls for governments and a multilateral organization for GCOM to declare the results of the recount and put an end to Guyana's uh, protracted 2020 elections. These countries are those which have historically espoused democratic values and account for about half of the global population. The A Partnership for National Unity Alliance for Change has accused the international community of partisan behavior. After that, after that same community chose not to condemn the baseless allegation of voter irregularity, claimed to have been unearthed by the coalition during the national recount process. The coalition yesterday made another attempt to spread mis misinformation regarding allegations of fraud, which according to them riddled the March general and regional elections. Four days after the Court of Appeal is set to rule on the matters pertaining to the March elections, Guyana's Apex Court, the Caribbean Court of Justice, is anticipated to proceed on its second vacation, set to last for a period of two months. This vacation is set to commence on August 3rd and end on October 2nd, 2020. This is your morning newscast right here on Kaicho Radio 99.1, 99.5 FM. EPA head Dr. Vincent Adams, in a, letter to the in a letter to the managing director of Troy Resources Guyana, Mr. Ken Nilsson, posited that the mining company was wholly responsible for the death of one of its geologists, Ryan Taylor, in October last year, a mining pit cave in on him. Adams, who was responding to attacks against the EPA and its executive directors, highlighted that Taylor died as a result of the company's negligence. 
This is according to reports that were never made public by the Ministry of Social Protection and the Guyana Geologies and Mines Commission. In light of Exxon's flaring, the Protected Area Commission must place Guyana's remaining mangroves under legal protection immediately. A fair deal for Guyana, a movement which seeks to protect the environment, is calling on, a protected, on the Protected Areas Commission to place the nation's remaining mangroves under the legal protection immediately. With Guyana oil and gas industry, local and international stakeholders, says that the role of the mangroves will be even more important since they serve as carbon skins by observing enormous amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Extensive research by a fair deal for Guyana shows that the mangroves are among the most carbon-rich tropical forests and can s store twice as much carbon per area than other forests. With this in mind, the movement which seeks to protect the environment is concerned that these carbon skin benefits for Guyana are being wiped out by fossil fuel emission by ExxonMobil. We tell you now that Port Moran market vendors have revealed that the fruit and vegetable subsector is suffering because of the coronavirus pandemic. The vendors stress that consumer purchases are declining at a troubling pace, which leaves them on many occasions with no choice but to discard of good produce or sell them at a loss. As a result of the decline in sales and profit margins, many of the vendors related that they have been pleading with the authorities to pay a reduced stallholder's fee. It is understood that the vendors are expected to pay $300 a day. This is provided that they are selling on a daily basis. But even this seems a small sum is now costly for some vendors. We tell you now that the Ministry, through its COVID-19 dashboard, reported that the number of persons in institutional quarantine remains 33, while the number of persons in institutional isolation have also increased by 169. The Ministry of Public Health yesterday also confirmed another 10 positive COVID-19 cases, bringing the country total to 370. Additionally, four persons remain in the COVID-19 intensive care unit, while 181 persons have so far recovered from the virus. To date, there are 20 fatalities. And with that, we've come to the end of your morning newscast right here on Kaicho Radio. Before we go, here's a recap of our top stories. 100 countries wants declaration of recount results. APNU AFC accuses international community of partisanship. Four days after CEO decision, CCJ goes on two months vacation. And the Troy resources responsible for death of geologist. And that's the news to the moment. I am Joshua Van Slekman thanking you for joining us, encouraging you to practice social distancing and, of course, to wear your face mask when leaving. So long. Take care.